Welcome back to this Packet Pushers live stream covering DPUs. I am Ethan Banks, and joining me is Joe White, a fellow at Dell Technologies. And in this segment, we're going to discuss building a turnkey DPU solution touching on VX Rail. Now, Joe, we're uh, we're talking to engineers who often build their IT solutions themselves. So why might turnkey be important when it comes to DPUs? Turnkey gives you the ability to deploy VMware stack on Dell hardware um, using our smart DPU approach with full power edge and iDRAC integration uh, completely transparently. So the key here is what's the easiest way for you to instantiate a VMware stack? That's uh, VX Rail. And we so we've built in all of the hooks, all of the integration that you need to do that. Okay. What DPUs have been integrated into the VX Rail solution so far? Yeah, so it's the uh, AMD Pensando um, and the uh, NVIDIA Bluefield 2, and then it'll be the NVIDIA Bluefield 3 and the next generation of the AMD uh, Pensando DPU. Okay. And, and we're looking at, you know, Intel and uh, potentially others as well. As a bunch of different VxRail form factors, Joe, which uh, which form factors are supported with this? All of, pretty much all of the VxRail form factors can support um, the DPUs and uh, au the automation uh, of deployment. So the key here is this kind of tight integration opens the way to uh, additional solutions and wider automation and virtualization of the hardware platform itself. So we can uh, do better uh, multi-tenant access and uh, the isolation that we talked about in the previous segment is uh, key to making a uh, transparently accelerated set of infrastructure. Yeah, maybe you're hitting on the, the magic security. thing there is uh, is transparently accelerated. So when we're talking about turnkey, you know, and why that's important, it sounds like um, I don't want to have to, as the consumer of this service, be messing with what's going on within the DPU uh, itself, moving services around. I want that to be tightly integrated so it just feels natural. So that when I'm operating my VxRail environment, the benefits that I'm getting from the DPU are things that feel seamless. And that 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 I think is the the whole idea here behind turnkey and what I'm getting. It's all it's all been seamlessly integrated. Is that fair to say? Yeah, that's correct. All right. And all right. um so again, a lot of the integration comes from the uh the DSE stack and the ESXIO offload. Um what what we, again, what we add is the hooks to make the, the server host of that DPU operate cleanly with the DPU, right? Yeah. So when I do upgrades, I have to worry about the PCI bus state, for example. When I want to do my telemetry off of my iDRAC, I need hooks into the DPUs. And so all of that detailed engineering work has been done um, to, to basically provide a better hosting environment for sort of the physical and primitives of the DPU itself. And then once you've got the thing loaded and integrated, the uh, distributed service engine takes over and the, you know, the vCenter and VMware stack and ESXi integration takes over. And now you're in that environment. Those same techniques um, that we use for the VMware integration can be used for other solution integrations as well. And we're absolutely looking at that. Okay. C can you tell us what networking functions are going to be offloaded to the DPU now in the current VxRail environment? Is this just you know, more or less packet forwarding? Are we getting a bunch of security integrations there too, like yeah. uh, NSX so, firewalling and so on? Yeah, you get – so what you get is you get uh, NSX – and NSXT offload. So you get a tunnel offload or overlay offload, depending on how you want to talk about it. You get um, encryption uh, offload and you get firewall offload. So you can essentially look at the packet stream as it's going in and out of the server and uh, filter it. You can uh, in-cap, b-cap it. You can monitor it. Um, 
and you can transform the packets without your core CPUs doing the hosting the VMs and containers that are doing the real application work having to be involved. Ah, okay. So you just led me to my next question, which is this. Can we tell how much more scale I can get out of my VxRail cluster because I'm using DPUs? How much more compute availability is there? You save uh, a number of x86 cores, and it's something like you can save uh, 20% in a typical server deployment, if I recall the number correctly. Um, but you know the number may be off a little bit. I don't remember that number just off the top of my head. Yeah, but and you it's, save, I, and I you, save it's... you save a you save a, a fair number of cores. It's on the order of uh, twenty to thirty percent, and that's enough to make the DPU itself a cost-effective addition, especially given that um, you you get a faster you also get a faster processing uh, rate. So you get less latency, you get higher throughputs, plus you save cores. So it's sort of a, a combination of all those factors. I hadn't thought about that. If I'm not right, asking my uh, x86 to deal with a lot of these networking functions because I've been pushed, I've pushed them down into the DPU. The DPU is going to reduce the latency then uh, for that. So that's uh, so, Joe, can I tell as an engineer running VxRail, operating VxRail, can I tell what the DPU is doing? Is there a special management interface or is it all just kind of integrated? Uh, so the, the again, the management interface doesn't come through VxRail itself. It comes through uh, the VMware stack. Okay. So you can okay. see the operation of the DPU from the VMware stack, although you can see the sort of the hardware fundamentals through uh, again the the iDRAC integration and the monitoring that comes through that component. And then how is support handled for this? So I just call Dell VxRail support like normal or is there a special process? Yeah, no, you you call, it's fully, the support is fully integrated with our normal uh, uh, support contracts and support engine. You basically just uh, contact your Dell VxRail support uh, as normal and they're up to speed on, uh, you know, Monterey distributed slash distributed service engine as well as the DPU integration for the flavors of DP we already support, and that'll continue to evolve. Joe, what's uh, what's on the horizon for this solution? Are we going to get like more DPU support in the VxRail turnkey solution, more network function offloading maybe? Storage offloading, additional uh, net, uh, software-defined network offloading. Uh, you will get uh, additional control plane offloads. Uh, you might see a little openness um, in what can be put on the DPU, uh, some flexibility there. And you'll see all of the major uh, DPUs that are coming up uh, over the next two years uh, uh, begin to be integrated. 